Good afternoon everybody, hope you are all well and you're sat there with your cup of tea or whatever it is you may be drinking at 2 o'clock in the afternoon. Uh, I don't personally have a cup of tea yet but Tommy's been well trained so there will be one coming through that door at some point I'm sure. If not, Leslie will be on at him. But, uh, for now, I think we'll make a start on tile 383. I've got a regular cream tile and I've done a little bit of inking on the other side. Here we go. Uh, use that abstract stencil to give me a little bit of a, a background going on there. But I'm going to draw straight over the top of it so I'm not worried about the pattern particularly. It's just nice to have something sometimes that if you think, well, I don't want to start on a blank piece, then at least you've got something to go with. So are we ready? I'm going to come straight in with a pen today. I think okay, let's just go for it, shall we? Uh, of course, if you really don't want to, you can start with a pencil. That's absolutely fine. But I'm going to go for it and uh, let's see where we uh, we end up, shall we? So it's slightly off centre somewhere, I think. Let's have a look. And uh, hmm, I tend to sort of start. Do I want to go here? I'm going to. I'm going to turn it around. I'm going to sort of do it here, not too close in the corner, because imagine everybody. You know, you want to sort of be doing something around here, so not in the middle, unless you want to. I'm going to come in here and I'm going to put myself a little diamond shape. Like that. There we are. Let's go in a little bit more. Happy birthday, Jackie. No, I haven't got any cake. We've got cake. They've been eating muffins at lunchtime, but can't eat them. <laughs> so watch them. Okay, what I'm going to do around here, I'm going to go a little bit bigger here. And on each side, I want to do like little loops like this. They're sort of like bubbles, aren't they? But we can actually leave a little bit of space in between. So we've got a bit more loop-like, a bit lacy-like maybe. Oh, I thought, oh, can I sneeze? <coughs> oh, bless me, I did sneeze, goodness. There you are. Don't know where that came from. Oh, oh, Vicky, sorry you're feeling unwell. Goodness me. Oh, well. Here we go. Next bit. I'm going to start at the top. The top. See, imagine this is a line that I'm working to. I'm going to start on the right-hand side. And I'm going to create a loop. Thank you, everybody. <laughs> I don't know where that came from. Same again, look. Oh, loop. And again. Uh, have you seen the uh, picture of the tile swap? That's coming out today. I've got them all here ready to put in the post box. So they'll be with you soon. Sorry if it's been a bit of a delay. You know, it's like we do our best. Okay, got those. So I'm going to go a little bit bigger so you can see what I'm doing. Because what I want to do is I'm going to come over here and down here. You see, I've come to the other side of that line. Let's do the same again. Or you could go up there first and then over there if you want. As long as you end up with that kind of a shape, it's fine. So whatever, whatever works for you. And along. Oh, Susan, honestly, I, I'm not quite sure whose was there, whose wasn't in a sense. But it's been an odd one this time, hasn't it? It's... Yeah, I don't know why. So sometimes they they come in a flurry, and uh, I don't know. I'm thinking of uh, I don't know switching it up a bit. I mean, is anybody out there think there's anything we can do better with it, or there's anything you'd like to see? Or yeah, see, I've got those loops again. And just as before, I'm going to come around and in. But this time I can't get in. It's um, going to go sort of slightly so it's going underneath there. Let's do another one along and in. So they're all heading in the same direction. But they're sort of sitting behind. in there. Do you remember this little loops that we did? I'm going to come around and put those loops in. 
And you notice this time I've kind of left a little bit of a gap around it. So it doesn't look like bubbles particularly. I'm going to do all the ones on the inside first. It's more sort of a lacy kind of feel. And working my way around those shapes. You see, you can you get a flow going. So it looks kind of nice. Just something a bit different than bubbles, I think. Still sort of bubbles, but something a bit different. One of those that I think once you start doing it, you, you can't stop. It's a little bit addictive, this one is. It just feels really nice to draw. Ooh. Certainly on like ribbons and things like that. It's really, really sweet. Same on this one. Just add a little bit on the top there. I'm not going to try and do all of it. You know, I don't want to sort of, if it's here, I'm not going to try and be too busy in there. I'm going to work my way around. A little bit there. So I'm not going to sort of make it too messy. If I've got the space to do it, I will. If not, I'm not going to try and put it in. So you're just going to do And same with this one. Okay, all oh, didn't do around there. And a little bit there. Okay, so let's have a look. So far, so good. Okay. So I am going to put that little faux stitch that I so love, little row of lines, in with the ribbon there. And I'm going to do it on both sides. I think it really gives it that sense that it is ribbon. Now, if I was being really sort of picky, I would do it on the inside there, but I'm not gonna because I don't want it to confuse with those little loops that we've done. So I'd rather keep it a little bit cleaner and keep them out. So you're just gonna get the stitching on the top. Maybe this is a printed on stitch rather than a stitch straight through. Again, something really nice about doing these little running stitches. Of course, it's again giving it that effect that it's shaped just because it's following those lines that we've drawn. Okay. Okay. Alright, nice. So this could go anyway, it doesn't really matter which we're going. Well, I'm gonna, uh, again, be a bit brave. Are you ready? I'm gonna come out from here and I'm gonna come around and draw a bit of a wavy line, like so. Yours can be a bit different and I'm sure it's gonna be, but I wanna give you a little bit of an idea of how we could turn these into ribbons too. So if I start from here, if I start from the point, it's gonna be quite thin. So I'm gonna come down a little bit and sort of do this. Okay, so it's like, a, I've just looked at this line, it's a shape, same. Um, oh, good point, Rose. I'll sneak over and I'll have a look in a minute. It's nice, isn't it? So this side, I'm going to come around and down to the next one. Okay. And then this one, I'll come round here, look, and down. And then to that point there. So you see it's given us this windy kind of ribbon. Let's have a little look at that from a distance. Okay. So let's do another one. And again, um, I went that way. So let's go this way this time. Okay. So it's just a little windy line. I'll go back in now. So this time I'm going to come on the back of it here. Go in there. You see it looks a bit... I'm going to go on the back. And do that line there and then from here I'm going to come around here and I'll 
out and in. And then on the other side, round and back. Okay, I could add an extra bit there, but I'm not going to. I'm going to leave them like that because I don't want to overcomplicate it. So let's do another. Oh, I'm going to do one here. So again, I, I don't want to repeat what I've done. So let's have it going. Sort of joining. Let's have a little look at that. So then off the back of this, round and in. Now here, I think it needs one there as well, because it's quite close to. And then round, so it's going to sort of be here, isn't it? It's coming round to this one. And round to there. Okay, let's have a look at the whole tile. Now let's do another. I'm going to do one sort of around here. Let's do it. Yeah. Uh, that way. So again, round this one. And join. Around here, look. And join. And around. And join. You see, we've got nice thick ones, but here it's just like a line. So we've got to put one on this side. Give it. That more three-dimensional feel on it. Okay. So let's have a look. Maybe do I keep with four? I think I'm going to keep with four because there's other things I want to put in. So I'm going to come in with pencil just to start with. I'm going to put myself a line in. All right. I'm going to put a few of those. Let's have one sort of there. Mm. One coming out there. And So I've got a few, yeah. Uh, let's go back in, have a look at what we're doing here. So on the uh, the end, I can come in with pen, I'm going to draw. But going up the line, I'm going to do some more, but I'm going to do them in pencil. Okay. Because what I want to do is I come up there, I want to have this as a double line, and it's going to go into that bubble. Like that and then I can draw that round and then the next one let's double it into that bubble make it a little bit bigger I think and around and then here again I'm still gonna have it going in and it's coming back out again So let's do that again. I'm going to look at this one. I'm starting at the bottom. These don't have to be the same each time. And then back in with pencil. Look, I'm going to do a couple of larger ones. So then along with my cord into that bubble, join it off, and then create the bubble around it. And then along here and into the bubble there and around and then again it gives me that shape let's have a little look at this all right so we've got these little kind of beads going on so same again but this time i'm going to actually put my bubbles in and i'm just going to leave a gap let's put my one there and then I can come on in. This depends how confident you are. If you still want to do them in pencil, that's fine, but I'm just showing you've got different ways. And then let's do the same here. I'm going to go smaller and just sort of have one and in. And oh, we go. And then another. So that sort of joins in there. See, I'm going to have that one look so it looks like it's going in that way. Okay. So, being that we've got our ribbon here and it's got these loops on the end, we've got to do the same here with these. So, 
I'm going to start, see, this one's going over the top of this one, so I'm going to start with that one. Okay. Get a little bit smaller as it comes to the curve. And then this one is over that one. So I'm going to draw that one in first. Again, as it goes to the end, I'm going to get smaller and smaller. And then, of course, we've got that one there. And of course, the bits that are left behind, so the ones that are underneath, I'm still going to do it, but they they sit behind. And again, see how I'm coming up towards a bend, so it's going to get smaller, and it's going to give that impression it's going around. So that's what we want to kind of do. So let's look at the next one. So here we go. See this bit here? It's in front, so I'm going around. But as I sort of come around here, I'm going to get a little bit smaller. And this one is sort of at the front, so let's do that one. Working my way around, getting smaller. And then I'll do the top one there. And then these ones, they're underneath. I'm not going to try and cross them or anything. See, that one's going to be quite small to start with. And Get it back up to size. Like it. So this sort of getting smaller and larger, again, it's giving that impression that it's bending and moving. So that's definitely getting around the corner, you see? So let's have a look a little bit further out. Okay. So let's look at this one. This is at the front. So let's have that going this way, but it's coming up to a bend. So it's going to get smaller as it goes to the bend there. And then this is in front of this. So again, keep it quite small and you can go a little bit bigger as you go around there. As it's coming up to the bend. And same with this one. And then, of course, around we go on those bottom edges. Same with this one, not too big. And then as it gets to those corners, we're going to ease off a bit. Oh, thank you, Janet. Where would I be without you, Janet? Where would I be? And around we go. Let's do this one whilst I'm thinking about it. getting smaller. Oh, it would, Maureen. Imagine doing this as a bow with the Just Beautiful Flowers. That would look lovely, wouldn't it? Have a real posh bow at the bottom. And you could make it as um, full as you like. You could make it really big or just have maybe four. Or... That'd be nice. And you notice as well, if you've got a bit of a wobbly line, when you're drawing your bows, by putting these little curls on it, it's gonna kind of, not that we want to hide the wobbly lines, but if you really want to, it is gonna disguise some of that wobble a little bit. And there we go. And do that, and a bit on that one. Okay, look at that. So there we go, uh, a bit of a bow there. We've got some little beads coming off. I think I'm gonna put a bit of color on. So I am gonna do this. Uh, sorry, Sue. Look. <laughs> it isn't the one that you gave me at the weekend. That one's upstairs on my desk. But this one's on this desk in my office. I do kind of like my little lovers. <laughs> okay, there we go. So at the moment, it's sort of mixed in with the background and we don't why we like the background we wanted it we don't necessarily want it so i'm going to bring some colors in i'm going to go with let's have a little look here what do i have i've got a bit of red a bit of orange a bit of peach and of course my white pencil so let's have a look oh, look at these colors so what have i got uh, light red clementine mid orange and mid peach there you go and a second, light red, mid-dime, and mid-orange. 
So, let's put a bit on. I'm going to come in with my white first. And I want to put some in on the middle, just on the outer bits, not these bits, those bits. Like that. Now, I know you might not be able to see it right at the minute. But that's okay. And on these, a little bit there. But I know it's there. So when I come to colour, I know that I've got a little bit of resistance there. And that's what we want. I'm not going to do it there. It's really quite inside, just on these larger pieces. And I might as well do a little bit on those bigger beads as well. Just reminds me that I need to leave a highlight. Then let's bring that red in and let's have a look. Start with one of these. I'm going to go right at the edge. And it's only a small area, so I am applying just a little bit more pencil than usual. Not much, just a little bit. So I'm going to do that red on the edges of each of those little bits of ribbon. And into this one. Even this one, I'm going to fill that one with red. I'm not going to worry about blending it when it's in the background there. And here we come. So this as well, I'm sort of going around-ish those little loops as well. Okay. And to this one. A bit there. Around there. Now of course I'm gonna go in with all this colour to start with all at once. Let's do the uh, bows at the same time. Now I'm going to fill the whole thing in in the background there because that's the bit that's going underneath. All up on there. And underneath. Looks a bit weird at the minute doesn't it when you just put one colour on. It just looks uh, like you make it a bit of a mess. But once we add the others on it, it'll be fine. I think sometimes, certainly with colour, isn't it? It's having the confidence to uh, just sort of have a go and put some colour on there. I mean, if you want to actually do uh, this is just a monochrome and just with your regular pencil, then you would be putting your pencil, apart from the whole thing, fill in there, just fill a bit of it. Exactly where I'm putting this red at the minute because then you'd blend it out, whereas we can actually blend it with other colours. So that's something to sort of bear in mind. But I wanted to go colour with this one because I want it to stand out from the background. So there's quite a lot, I might put a bit of orange in there, look. And we want to give it as much sort of three dimensions as we can. So we're aiming to to do that with some colour. Okay, there you go. Uh, into my Clementine. Alison, uh, the very last ones have gone out today. So if you've not heard anything yet from any of your orders, it might be that they were in this last batch. So we've, uh, we've, I'll say we, the Royal We, <laughs> have got them all out now. So you should be hearing. And if not, you uh, give it a couple of days, of course, and then contact them. And you know, we'll, we'll always sort it out. We'll always make it right. So not to worry. We, we know now and again, we know parcels do go missing. So we send ever such a lot out, which is great. And even if we send some, uh, you know, through our own website, sometimes these things happen. But we'll always make it right, so... Not to worry. Okay, you see how that sort of uh, comes around? I'm just sort of working over the top of the red, not right at the edge, look, just sort of zigzagging over it and working it round. And along we go to each of those. So there's my bit of orange. Now some of these areas are quite small, so I'm not even sure if I'm going to get a couple more colours in. Well, let's, let's see. Okay, let's 
do this is my uh, mid orange and I can start to feel that white now so it might be that my peach doesn't end up as part of this it's okay it was there just in case and what we're hoping to see now is that the background is in the background so we're, we're not having that inked image coming through on our little design here I'm starting to sort of straighten up that highlight now of my uh, pencil. I can feel the white so I know that it's sort of there. Okay. A little bit in there as well. I'm coming with my white. And there, over the top there. And bring that sort of together. wander over the top of that. Now of course I'm doing this a little bit quicker than perhaps you'd want to. You might want to take your time with this. You know, I've uh, had so much time doing my lives so it's nice that you uh, at least you get to see the whole thing but if I was to slow down and take all afternoon you, you'd only see a little bit of it. So, so hopefully giving you that the idea. Look at that. I'm going to stick with my peach, being that it's, it's here. And let's have a look at these little bubbles. You see, I'm going to come back with this in a minute. Just add a little bit on that edge. Like that. Doesn't matter if they're all slightly different. It's just we want a little bit of colour on there. There we go. You see, just adding a little bit. Let's come back in with that. But Rose, it's not that well a, a certain amount of time. I think if um, if I was on here for two hours, I think you'd all lose the will to live, honestly. So um, I would never want to sort of presume that, you know, you're going to sit and watch for a long time. I could take all afternoon. But, you know, it's nice that we we just have a, a short amount of time to to work on it. So I'm going to come in with a darker colour. Look, I've got my claret there. And you know what? We've got these little little bits in the edge. We can come in and see, fill them in with a little bit of darkness there. I'm going to add a little bit in there as well. This is why, you know, you don't have to press on with your pencils. They're going to, they're going to blend so we know it's going to be fine. Putting this dark one in afterwards just means that because everything before it's already been blended, this is going to sort of work its way in. <sighs> oh, Chris, I suppose so. I mean, I could tangle all day, every day. Well, I do, you know, but I, I have to sort of set myself limits for certain things because, of course, when you think I've got uh, demos to prep for... for Oh, Tuesday and Thursday next week. I'm out on uh, Sunday. I'm in Edwinstow, so if you're around that area, and uh, come on and say hello. We've got any questions? Of course, Leslie and I. Thank you, John. We'll be demonstrating. So, if you want to come along, even just to say hello, or you've got a question about a stencil you want to see done, or come on over. It's for charity as well, so. Be nice to see you. Plenty parking there. It's at Edwin Stowe House. So I'm back where I used to teach around that area. And, uh, yeah. Who knows who I'll bump into? Look at this. All those colours. So uh, you see, just sort of filling those little, little ends up. Again, I say I'm, I'm drawing this quite quickly and you're looking at this really closely. So you take your time with yours. I think you've got to rush it. You can always sort of stop and start it, can't you? And do a little bit at a time. Okay. Just, uh, just look, actually, I'm going to come in with my lighter orange and just sort of use that in a bit. 
amazing how you, you know, it blends ever so quickly. So we just want to have a little bit, I think I'm going to put a bit of orange in there as well. I don't want them to stand out massively, we're just giving them a little hint of colour. Because of course the main thing is the, uh, the bow. So centre bit, it, it needs a little bit more and there's only so much red you can put onto it. So I think today what I'm going to do is bring in a darker green. Here we go, look, deep green. Let's go in a little bit. Oh, Vicky, yeah, it would be lovely for a card topper, wouldn't it? I'm going to come around it and add some in. Ease it up a bit. See, just inside those areas a little bit. I know you're putting green over red, but you see how much it, it still covers and goes over. Whereas a red perhaps wouldn't do that so much. And there. Uh, just a little bit in there. You know, the, the bit's real close up to the, the ribbon there. Let's put a bit in there. Let's have a little look at that. See how much it's sort of worked its way in there. How much darker it is in there, but it's not like a cold dark. Because that's what a, a black would do. And of course, if you're using your regular pencil and you're just keeping it monochrome, then bringing a black in at that point would be fantastic. But uh, not if you've got really lots of bright colors in there, you don't wanna lose that kind of thing. So, okay, let's have a little look at that, there you go. So we could go a little bit further. We could bring our regular pencil in. And you see where we've got these things hanging off? What I'm gonna do, let's just pull it out a bit. I'm gonna add a little bit of pencil. See, it's not touching, but it's coming in there. It's like a smiley snake, isn't it? A little bit round there. This one, let's sort of follow the shape round. A little bit here, and then round there. Of course, round there. A little bit round there, see? And up there, and to there. Just sort of giving it a little bit of here, nothing crazy. We're not going to try and see that sticking out a bit. Let's put a bit in there. And then this one. Okay, let's see what that does. And there. Soften that off there. Ease those a little bit. I'm not going to press on too much here. I don't really want it to sort of become part of. But I just want to see that it's actually lifted itself up off that background. So it's just nice to add that little bit of dimension. Okay. And uh, just putting little bits in and sort of having it so it's slightly away. This gives that little bit of an illusion. Nicely, I know. It's not coming yet. Okay, let's have a little look at that. Alright, so we've hopefully got a little bit of a lift coming off some of these so they're not all sort of sitting on the surface. It looks like there's a bit of movement in there. Let's have a look. Yeah, there we go. So it would probably need another coat over with a colour, I think, you know, just to remove some of those little bits of white. But I think for the most part, that's, pro that's probably done. It's like the only thing I need to do now is to put my uh, initials on there. There you go. So what's going on next week? Of course, um, I'm at Hobby Maker on Tuesday. Um, back down there on Thursday for Sewing Street. But of course, there'll be, there will be a tile. I'll check my times for Tuesday, ref the tile. Uh, tile is normal on Friday as well. And yeah, it's gonna be quite a busy one, but good good fun one. So have a, have a bit of a play with this. Let me know how you get on, post a few pictures, and I will speak to you all again. Um, if you're the Edwin Stowe this weekend, if not, next Tuesday, so. All right, have a good weekend, everybody. Enjoy, stay safe, take care, and I'll see you all soon.